see, brake, 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 more throttle, brake, 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 gas it up. And then you come down pretty smooth. figure talk to you a little bit more about different types of wheelies that you'll probably be wanting to learn uh like just starting out i was showing you in the last one how to like clutch up your bike a bit you know like getting it off the ground the beginning stages of actually getting it off the ground so uh now you're basically with your foot brake you're only gonna have kind of two options in a way well three you can kind of work on and see which one feels comfortable more for you to learn um, as far as foot brake um, so we got your sit down is probably what you all are going to be trying because um, a lot of people they feel more comfortable like already being in that seated position for trying wheelies you know sit down wheelies um, then we got your staggered wheelies now your staggered wheelies you're gonna have one foot on your left rear passenger peg um, and the or sub cage if you have a bike that's done it out with a cage on it uh, and then your right foot obviously stays over your foot brake because that is your safety net in case something goes wrong and you go a little too far back that's what's gonna save you so you gotta keep your foot there um, so that's gonna be a second one another one you'll be able to do is a knee knocker which that'll be basically kind of like a sit down kind of like a staggered it's like in between because you're just gonna have your knee on the seat your left knee on the seat um, right foot still over the foot brake now me personally um, I'm terrible at sit down wheelies I've never really felt comfortable doing sit downs um, I just don't really uh, like the the view of like once you start getting up there like I just feel like it's really hard for me to see and I don't really like that. I like to be able to like see ahead of me, you know, like what, what I'm doing and all that. And then it just being in sit down, it feels really far back when you're at balance point and I don't really like it. Um, but that's just personal preference. That's me. You may feel comfortable doing sit down. I learned uh, more in staggered uh, position, which is like I said, the left foot on the, uh, on the rear passenger peg and right foot on the foot brake. Um, so you might wanna try all these three that I mentioned, the knee knocker, the stagger, and the sit down. You need to try that once, now that you've already been practicing like your initial pop of you know getting the bike off the ground. Now maybe that, since you learned that, you can start trying different seat position in order to see where you're at and what you feel more comfortable with doing. Yeah, try all three. Um, and see which one's gonna feel better for you. Because like I said, it's kind of personal preference. I felt better with staggered. Some people may feel better with knee knockers. Some people feel better with sit down. So you just try them all, you know? And now if you got a handbrake set up, now you can pretty much try whatever you want because now you can move your foot off of that foot brake and you still have a rear brake in case something goes wrong, like seat standard, double back pegs, or you know, whatever you're gonna try. Yeah, let's get on it. Get back to you in a second once we get get her warmed up and get my uh, gotta get my lid on, geared up, and all that, and switch over to the GoPro. All right. Got the bike out, got the bike unloaded, and the homies just showed up. So let's go ahead and get on the bike, get back into some more wheelies, get everything rolling for y'all. All right. Okay. So now, where do we leave off? Getting into some more wheelies. 
now that you've already learned how to clutch up a bit and get it off the ground just a little hair now I'm gonna show you how to get it up there a little bit better and what you're gonna want to do so just a tip don't flip the throttle and then just snap the clutch and now that you learned that where you just kind of boom and then let it go you know now we're gonna go a little further than that because now you're gonna want to bring that wheelie up a bit higher so you're gonna want to hold the that shit loud all right um so you're gonna want to hold the throttle a little bit so you kind of want to like boom and then you're gonna pop it and when it comes off the ground just stay with the throttle so it's just boom boom pop the clutch boom, boom pop the clutch and it's gonna come up and then just go ahead and tap the brake you're gonna start trying to get it up a little bit higher now that you already learned how to pop it off of the ground the initial you know clutch dump just bam so that's how we're gonna do it so you're gonna watch me a little bit my visor down you can probably hear me better if i put my visor down all right so you're gonna go ahead and then watch the throttle hand and then see i'm maintaining throttle maintaining the throttle and then when you're coming down don't let off the throttle even if you're gonna tap your brake and start coming down once you start coming down a little bit you're gonna want to throttle out of it so you're actually gonna give it more throttle that'll prevent you from slamming down so hard so you're gonna kind of gas gas into it on the way down so I'm gonna show you what that looks like let's get it up all right so now we're on it dip it back a little slow it down all right now when I start coming down gassed it out so that way it comes down smooth without putting so much stress on your on your bike just like slamming on the ground you know you don't want to just slam it because it's gonna abuse your forks like crazy I mean your whole front end like if you don't have like a stunt stay and like everything's all stock you'll start cracking all the plastic and everything from like such a hard slam coming down so hope I turn my fan on it's getting hot all right so I'm gonna do it again watch the throttle hand down pretty smooth let's do some more you're just gonna watch what I'm doing with my hands let's do a seat stander I don't know if you can see my hands too well I'm trying to sit myself back so you can really like see hopefully you can and then see how I gassed into it I know it's hard to tell watching my rpms though um, don't worry I'll get that fixed it's from like I think the uh, the sensor is like kind of messed up from all the wheelies and everything else so it's like all over like look right now it's not even like showing anything but don't worry about it too much it'll be all right uh i think we got a truck here hopefully hopefully they're not gonna kick us out we can only hope that they don't kick us out and once you maintain that throttle it makes it like so much easier it, I know it's scary and you like your natural instinct is you want to let go of the throttle but don't you're gonna fluctuate it with your brake not with your throttle you know it'll start helping you develop better habits all right so let's back down to go back down to second gear do another seat stander while well, double back peg i think you can see my hands better if i double back peg so you can see it probably a little better i'm putting myself a lot far back so hopefully you can see it and just basically that's how i do it and you see i'm using my 
my index finger on my handbrake that's not the proper way to do that first of all so i'll let you know that now if you got a handbrake you want to use your index on the clutch and then you know your middle finger on the on the handbrake like that so i'm not doing it the proper way um using my index for one so you can see better as i'm like doing it because so that way it's not blocking and then also because i'm waiting on a, a upgraded like rear caliper setup that i got ordered um, because i'm using a single piston for my handbrake and it's just not it doesn't grab as hard as it should and it's like i can't even like grab it hard enough to like really stop me with my middle finger it's like I gotta use my index or it's like I'm, I might loop, you know? Cause it just doesn't want to stop it. So once my brake setup is better, then I can do it properly. So that in case you were wondering why I'm doing it like that. All right, let's do some more. So you can keep watching. Try to slow it down a little bit. See, I'm just maintaining my throttle and I'm using my brake to control my speed. And also, what's going to help your balance point too is body position is important. So your body position, meaning your weight distribution. So the more weight you have on the back of your bike, it counteracts the weight of the front of the bike because, you know, that's what's up in the air. So if there's more weight in the back of the bike then what will happen is your bike doesn't have to be as high up in order for you to be at balance point if you're tucked over the tank like all like ooh, and you're like all in it you're putting all your body weight on the front of the bike so the bike has to work harder to get off the ground and not only does it have to work harder to get off the ground it your balance point is going to be you know almost 12 o'clock because like there is just no weight counteracting the weight of the front end of the bike so the further you sit back like even for sit downs and like sit at the back of the seat it's gonna help you know so think about that try to adjust your body position accordingly it'll it'll help for balancing wheelies Alright, let's do some more wheelies. Alright, I'm gonna do a seat stander. And then see, I popped it up, caught it with the brake, and then now I'm just rolling. I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. Give it more throttle to come back up because I started going too low. And then start slowing it down a little bit. You just make your throttle adjustments and you're playing with your brake at the same time. It's, it's a balancing act between three things. Your throttle, your brake, and your body weight. Because the further you start sinking your body weight back, it's gonna start changing where your bike balances. And same thing if you start putting your body forward. It's gonna start changing where it balances at. And you'll know when you get to balance point. Because when you get to balance point, your bike just becomes weightless. It feels like it just floats. And it's a really scary feeling. The first time you feel it, you feel like you're about to loop it. But you gotta get used to that feeling if you wanna stunt, because everything happens at balance point. You can't stunt ride and continue to chase wheelies. And I mean, even if you're not trying to be a stunt rider, but you wanna you know, hit some nice wheelies, it doesn't look very impressive when you're just chasing, 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 more throttle, more throttle, more throttle, just to keep it up. It's not, it doesn't look impressive. But when you can maintain your speed and slow it down, that's what looks impressive. So like I show you here, do another seat standard, and then we're gonna try to do that. See, doing it slow, slow, you just maintain your speed. You don't really wanna speed up too much just to keep it going slow you know and then obviously gassing it out the way down you know like gas it out just so it comes down smooth but yeah that's basically all there is to it for right now 
we'll get into more wheelie videos and more tips as i remember these tips that'll probably help you so i don't really know uh what to get into right now because i feel like i kind of covered everything for this video so stay tuned for the next one and then um we'll we'll keep going man we'll keep progressing you keep getting your wheelies better and better and better and so if you got any questions on something i maybe didn't cover that you're curious about just let me know in the comments i will respond to it you know so whatever question you have i'll do my best to answer it and explain it and then um yeah if you like the video then give me a thumbs up and maybe a subscribe if you're new here that way you don't miss any of these videos as we keep making them you'll get notifications so you'll get to see it as soon as it comes out and i would appreciate it because i love doing this and it makes me happy to see that i can help people and that you guys want to learn and you're actually watching the video to learn from me it means a lot so i appreciate you guys thank you for watching ninja turtle stunts until next time, I'm out.